It is something easy, painless, and it really could save your life. So wouldn't you just do it? That's the idea behind a new push to get Tennesseans to wear seat belts every time they get in the car. But this time, the state is putting you in the driver's seat and letting you crash. Our Rebecca Schleicher shows us the convincing new tool to get that message across with a bang. It's a story all new at 10. It may look like a ride, but you don't want a roller coaster to end like this. It's called the convincer, and it's making its way across high schools in Middle Tennessee. This is when teens are getting their driver's license. This is when they're getting their learner's permit. This is when they're going to start forming those habits of making good decisions or making bad decisions when it comes behind the wheel. Amanda Brown with the governor's highway safety office helped show how it works. You would leave your feet flat on the bottom and your hands on your lap and just relax. You see how much my body moves even with the seat belt. So if I didn't have the seat belt on, I would be plastered, you know, uh, on the partition. More than half of people who die in crashes in Tennessee are not wearing their seat belts. With less than 90% of people routinely wearing them here, Tennessee is considered a low use state, and these folks want that to change. Your chances are of surviving a crash if you have your seat belt on are about seven times greater if you're wearing it than if you're not. An important lesson I had to try for myself. The seatbelt convincer only goes five to seven miles an hour. But the jolt really just describes exactly how much damage even a small crash like that could do. Even at a slow pace, even close to home, even on roads that you've been driving on your entire life, it matters. It's an idea they hope to slam into the minds of young people to possibly save their lives. Wow. The seatbelt convincer for Middle Tennessee is housed at the Rutherford County Sheriff's Department. If your organization wants to use it at an event, you just need to contact the governor's highway safety office. They do recommend that riders be at least 14 years old. Hopefully it'll do the trick.